going for. Nice little ride with Miss Nelly New here today. It is a bit of a drizzly one, so I'll apologise in advance if there's any drops of rain on the on the camera lens. I have just cleaned it off, but yeah, I can't really help it, unfortunately. It's the curse of being an outdoor vlogger. <laughs> oh, so we're just going for a really gentle one today. Um, it's, I mean, we're going up through the field, through our little local farm track. Chances are she'll probably want to go for a canter. Um, but we've been taking it exceptionally easy lately. Um, I've had, I feel like it's been about six months, but it hasn't. It's, it's been like a month and a bit, I would guesstimate. But I kind of hit the brakes a little bit because of the whole PMS thing, stopping me on my tracks. And then in between all of that, we've been working on refurbishing the stables um, and then the weather has been kind of pants in between as well which has slowed that down big time and so I haven't done a whole lot of riding lately like and I feel like I say this all the time like I'm very much a, like a peaks and troughs kind of person like everything it's either all or nothing with me so I feel like it's so many of my videos I'm like oh I haven't ridden for ages but it really has been um, very very quiet on the riding front recently um, more so than it normally would be even on an off time for me so we're just gonna take it easy we're gonna go for a stroll I said if she decides you know if she perks up and decides she wants to go for a canter up through the field that's cool I'm not gonna say no to that but the plan for today is literally just a stroll um, really and anything else that she offers is a happy bonus um, so while we're going out for our little plod today I thought I would do something that I don't normally do, actually, um, and that is have a chat with you guys about something. Oh, hello. I woke you up, didn't it? Pigeon. <laughs> Crazy pigeon just spooked her behind us. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't normally, normally do videos like this. Um, right. Oh, spiky thing. Ah, another spiky thing. Ooh, evil. Okay, so I keep getting distracted um, and I keep losing my train of thought, so I'm kind of going to start again. Um, so yeah, the, the topic of today's video is just sharing my thoughts on that video. Um, thank you. So, I mean, there's always videos like this surfacing, but obviously the one I'm referencing is the one that came out recently about Charlotte Jardin. Uh, the one where she was, I don't know why, but just whipping the crap out of a horse with a lunge whip while it was having a lesson. Um, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've worked in enough equestrian facilities. Um, I've been around enough people for long enough now to know that that is not uncommon practice, sadly. Uh, but I was kind of surprised to see it from someone like her. We go we're going to be cool. Still more distractions, isn't it? Come on, bird. You can't go in front of the lorry. You've got to stay to the side of it. Come on. Let's go, bird. Good job. Thank you. Good girl. Well done. Very good, Nelly New. Very good. Good job. Oh, she's a good girl. And a scary sign. Well done. Oh, and a motorbike behind us. Well done. You're cool. Well done. Good girl. Thank you. Cool, I think that's all the scary stuff gone for a second. <laughs> oh, see what I mean about distractions. This is why I keep losing my trail of thought. Um, so yeah, I was I was very surprised and disappointed to see that kind of behavior from her. I mean, like I said, I this this is the main reason why I don't really associate myself with the equestrian industry anymore. Um, it's one of the reasons I don't get lessons. And it's certainly the reason that I would never send one of my horses away to be like professionally trained ever, ever again, ever. Just, oh, I, I can't do it. I've, I've seen horrors. I just couldn't do that to any of my animals. Um, so I'm, I'm very aware of the fact that people behave like this, but I'm very surprised. Well, mm, let me rephrase that actually. I'm not surprised. I think it's more disappointment actually, because I said I'm very aware of the fact that this is how like higher level people tend to treat their animals but 
I don't know, she's always been somebody who's really pushed for horse welfare and, and all of that. And it's just, it's very disappointing to see that she's, you know, no different to so many of the other people that I've encountered. Um, it's just really disappointing, really disheartening. Um, and I don't understand, I just, yeah. I don't understand why this is the standard. I don't understand why this is the way that things are done. And it does sadly seem to be the standard. Um, it seems, I mean, like I said, I've worked in several yards um, and it just, it seems to be everywhere. It just seems to be this culture of the horse isn't doing what you want, so hit it with a big stick. Um, and like I said, that is, it's one of the main reasons that I don't get riding lessons anymore, which is <laughs> why I'm in the state that I'm in with my riding. But I would rather be um, somewhat crappy, fumbling, but not beating the crap out of my horse every 10 minutes than go to somebody where I'm paying 70 pounds an hour and being told, hit it harder, you're not hitting it hard enough. Because, yeah, that just doesn't doesn't work for me. Um, and I'm not going to lie, I, I did... I started going down that road, I am ashamed to say, when I was younger and I was desperate to learn how to ride better. Um, I, I actually tried to go and do, I can't remember if it was an apprenticeship or some kind of like higher learning course somewhere. Um, and I didn't get into that one because I was told I wasn't a good enough rider. Um, and looking back on that, I'm actually really glad I didn't get in there because I've met a lot of people who did go through that particular training course and I've seen how they treat horses afterwards. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I didn't, I'm, I'm glad I didn't get in there. That was definitely um, a mercy from the universe on that one. And I went and did a course with somebody shortly after that, um, a different type of course and um, it was just kind of that culture of if the horse doesn't do what you want, hit it. Um, I mean, i never forget one day. Come on, Millie, come on. You've had loads of breakfast. Come on, you cheeky moo. Um, I remember, I act so I actually walked out of this course in the end. I just, I upped and quit. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't with that woman. She was bloody awful. But I remember one day I was having a lesson and, um, I've always been quite a passive rider, I guess. Like, I don't like pushing them. I don't enjoy the whole, you know, kick, 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 smack, 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 pull their head in. You know, I, I, I just, I, I don't like it. There's no need for it. Um, and this person was very much the opposite of that. She was very firm-handed, very aggressive rider. And I remember one day um, I was riding this, this schoolmaster of hers in a lesson and she kept screaming at me. And I, when I say screaming, I mean screaming, like blood red in the face, screaming and shouting at me because I wasn't getting this horse to display his full potential. It's probably the best way of putting it. it he was a lazy old bugger. He was an old man. He was semi-retired. He was lazy as anything, sweet as anything. He was absolutely lovely. But he was just like ambling along and I was you know, quite happy, you know, it wasn't really bothering me that much. I was trying to figure things out. And um, he just wasn't moving enough for her liking. And she kept telling me to hit him with a stick. So I gave him a tap with the stick and he picked up a little bit. Um, and she was like, no, you're not hitting him hard enough. I said, hit him with stick. Um, and in the end, she ended up making me get off of the horse and she got on it and proceeded to beat it around the arena for about 10 minutes. I, 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 I'm kidding you not. I mean, with every ounce of might in this person's body, smack, smack, smack. And then she'd scream and shout at it. And then it'd be smack, smack, smack. And this was a person who was supposed to be teaching future equestrians, you know? And this isn't the only place I've seen that kind of thing. Um, like I said, I, I, cannot claim complete innocence in this. The only slight excuse I have is that, and, and for the record, I'm not somebody who's sat on a horse and gone smack, smack, smack. That's, no, absolutely not. <laughs> I have never been anywhere near that bad. But sadly enough, I was on that road. I was learning from people like this and I was going down that road. And it's the bloody norm to them. It is the norm. That's how these people train their horses. 
Um, and I've seen it in so many different places, from so many different trainers, from so many different people, both professional and non-professional. And you know what? I just, I wiped my hands in the end. This is why I'm an antisocial, strange little, live in my own little bubble equestrian now, because I just, I, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Um, and yes, yeah, so it doesn't, I, I can't say it surprises me that um, that video emerged of Charlotte exhibiting that behaviour because it is very much the norm. Now, that does not excuse it, um, but it is sadly the norm. And I think because people are taught it from such a young age, and I mean, I've, I've overheard riding lessons. Oh, kick the post, whoops. I've overheard riding lessons of people teaching young kids and the kid can't get the horse. Uh-oh, you okay? Dear. Uh oh. You're all right, babe. Uh oh. That's not good. But yeah, I've, I've overheard and, and seen, you know, people giving riding lessons to little kids, and um, the kid can't get the horse to do something, and the instructor's just like, give him a smack with a stick. I'm like, no, that's a kid. What the hell? What is wrong with you? Do not tell a kid to smack the horse with a stick. Teach it how to achieve what it wants to achieve. Don't tell it to just hit the animal. Like, seriously. But, sadly, as I said, it, it's kind of like a brainwashing cult. It's just this constant cycle of people being taught it and then they teach other people it and then nobody actually learns how to achieve what they want to achieve with their horses. They just beat the crap out of them and hope they get what they want. And that's kind of, in my experience anyway, that's kind of the equestrian industry. And I've seen it on, in so many different scenarios, in so many different ways. And I said, thankfully, I actually woke up at one point and was like, I mean, I, I never liked that. I mean, like I said, I, I, the one woman in particular, she would tell me off for not hitting the horse hard enough, frequently, because she would tell me to use the stick on it. And I would be like, I'd give it a little tap, like, you know, like a little tap with a stick, not like a bang. Um, and yeah, that, that was not acceptable apparently. And it's, yeah, it's, it's frustrating, it's maddening. Something needs to change. Um, no, no, I don't need that. I don't know what that is. Yeah, something definitely needs to change. And, and thankfully, like I said, eventually I did wake up to all of that and I eventually grew a pair big enough and realized that I would rather be a crappy horse rider. I mean, if that's what you had to do to be considered a good horse rider, then I would rather spend my whole life being a crappy horse rider. And I eventually made that decision, moved away from it all. Um, and now I ride my hairy, dirty little gypsy cobs through fields and every now and then manage to get to a low level event. But you know what? I'm happy. I don't give a monkeys. If you have to beat the crap out of your horse to get to the high levels, then that's not a game I want to play. Thank you very much. Not interested. Um, it's just, yeah, disappointing. Very, very disappointing, like I said, for somebody who's preached animal welfare. Um, and, I, you know, some, in her statement, she said, oh, it's, it was a, an error of judgment or something, and it's not how she normally trains horses. I, honestly, after the experiences I've had, like I said, I, I don't think I believe that. I think that is very much normal, sadly. Um, yeah, it's, it really is quite shocking what goes on behind... Oh, are we just stopping for a snack? Okay. It's very shocking what goes on behind closed doors. Come on. Ellie! Oh no, my horse is ignoring my leg. Shall I hit it with a big stick? Hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't joke, really, should I? It's not okay. But, but yeah, so there you go. In conclusion, I'm not surprised. I am disappointed, but not surprised. Um, but like I said, I think the, <laughs> the court of public opinion has definitely cast its view on the whole situation. Um, yeah. I think, I mean, I've, I've seen various posts online like, oh, what a way to end a career. Yeah, I think, I think it is over now, really, isn't it? I think there ain't much coming back from that, unfortunately. But maybe, maybe people will, will, I, I don't say, I was going to say maybe people will realise and start to make changes, but in my experience, people don't change. It just, they, they kind of like chastise the person who gets caught doing it and then everybody else carries on doing the same thing behind closed doors. It's, it's absolute madness. But anyway, 
Are you perking up now, missus? Are you perking up? Yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's my, my little thought process. Um, I don't even know if I... I didn't really talk about the video that much. I mean, there's not really much to say specifically about the video, is there? It's just... <laughs> it's just another day in the dingy, dodgy equestrian world. And this, this kind of stuff is why you have so many horse rider haters out there. You know, this is why you get people online saying that horse riding is cruel, um, because crap like that happens. Right. Oh, no, don't pull me out of the seat, you madam. Right. Are you wanting to go? You look like a horse who wants to go for a canter. Right. Let's end this cranky old whingy whiny video on a happy note with what's probably going to be an absolute tank. Are we ready? Steady. Go on then. Woohoo! <laughs> Good job.